All right, here we go. So we've got butts and guts. We're going to um, we're going to fly through this. You ready? It's going to be about a 45 minute workout. 40, yeah, about 45 minutes. So, ready? Let's do it. All right, we're going to warm up. We're going to start with some knee raises. So you're just going to lift your knee up and pull it. Pulling it up feels so weird to do this without music, but we that's all right. You put on something that is upbeat, something you want to hear. Knee raises. You're pulling them into your chest. Make sure you're pulling on your leg and not just your knee. Good. One more each side. We're going to jog in place for a second. Nothing fancy. You can butt kick if you want. You can do high knees if you want. Or you can just try not to pee your pants if you want. Good. Keep going. Keep running. Keep running. Good. All right. We're going to do a squat down with a knee raise. Squat down with a knee raise. Getting those hips warmed up. Getting your booty warm. Good. We're going to do one more each side. And then we're going to kick your foot out straight in front of you for toe touches. Good. Oh, all right. We're going to do a little, little stretchy stretch with our arms. So reaching one way. Hitting the fan because we're in the playroom because we're in quarantine. Reaching. Good. One more each side. Stretching. Reaching. Warm your shoulders up. Just in case we have a few planks today. Good. Stretching your shoulders out. Last but not least, we're just going to twist side to side. Make sure you're rotating that foot in, that knee in, pulling your belly button into your spine. Good. So one more each side. All right. You warm? Awesome. Let's do this. All right. First section is squats. So we're gonna we're gonna do regular. I'm gonna show you the individual moves and then we'll put them all together. So we're gonna have squats. Your feet are about shoulder hip width apart. You're dropping down. Your chest is lifted high like you're sitting down in a chair. And up. When you come up, you're pushing your hips forward and squeezing your butt cheeks. We've got bowlers. When I call bowlers, you're going to step behind you at an angle. You're Upper body is still facing towards me, and you're dropping down 90 and 90. I'll show you from a different angle so you can see that. You're stepping back at an angle, and you're dropping down 90 and 90. Good. So we will go bull, tap, bull, tap. If you're feeling advanced, you could go bull, knee, bull, knee. And that knee is a crunch right here. You should feel that right here when you engage your core. We'll have some sumo squats in here in this little section. You're going to step out wide, wider than your hips. Your toes are pointed at a 45 degree angle and you're sliding your back down a wall and you're pushing your hips forward. If you need to, stand against a wall and drop down. Okay? That is a sumo squat. What else we got in here? That's it. Those are the three moves you need to know. We'll mix them up, and it'll be real fun. It'll be real fun. All right. We're going to start with eight squats. Ready? Here we go. One. Up. Down. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Now we bowl. One. Tap, two, three, 
four, five, six, two more. Then we're going to switch sides. Last one, switch sides. One, two. Upper body stays straight and tall, lift it high. Four, I think that's four, five, six, seven. Now sumos, step out wide, drop down low. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, go back to your squat position. We're gonna start pulsing. We're gonna go pulse, two, three, and hop. Ready? We're gonna do that four times. Then we're gonna bowl, pulse, two, three, and skate. Pulse, two, three, and skate. I know I'll go off camera a little bit, but you can do it. Then our sumos are the same thing as the squats. Pulse, two, three, and hop. If you need to, here, you can go pulse, two, three, and go on your toes. Totally fine. The same with the squat. If you need to pulse, two, three, toes. And with the bowler, if you need to go pulse, two, three, and step, you can step. Modifications for everything. I'm running out of breath already. All right, start with the squat, ready? Here we go. Pulse, two, three, hop. Pulse, two, three, and hop. Pulse, two, three, and hop. One more, pulse, two, three, and bowl. Pulse, two, three, skate. Pulse, two, three, skate. Pulse, two, three, skate. Last one, three. Now sumos. Pulse, two, three, hop. Pulse, two, three, hop. Pulse, two, three, hop. Pulse, two, three, and hop. Woo, you feeling it? I feel it right here. Good. All right. We're going to do four squats and then four pulses. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Pulse, two, three. Now bowl. One, two, three, four. Now pulse. One, two, three. Switch sides. One, two, three. One more. Four. Now pulse. Pulse. Two, three. Now sumos. Down. Up. Two, three, four. Now pulse. One, two, three, four. Awesome job. How do your legs feel? <laughs> you good? If you want, you can repeat that again. I don't want to. <laughs> but you can if you want. You can always press pause. You can always press pause and repeat things. All right. We're going to drop down onto your mat now. Let's see. Best way to do this, I think, is going to be like this. All right. We did these yesterday. We start in a V shape, V. And we're gonna curl our back into a C as we sweep our arms back and come back up. You're following your fingers with your eyes. So as your hand reaches back, your eyes reach back and back up, all right? We'll do four on each side, then we'll drop back into bicycle crunches. We're gonna go slow and then quick. So we'll go one, two, three, four. We'll do that for eight counts and then we'll speed it up. Okay? And we shoulder blades off the floor for those crunches. Then we're going to do 
regular old crunches, but we're going to start slow. We will go. I think, can you all see me in there? I hope so. All right, we're going to go up. Nope, we're doing crunches, not bridges. <laughs> crunch, crunch, down, down. We'll do a few slow, then we'll cut it in half, and we'll do quicker ones. Good. If you want to do a full sit-up, you are always welcome to do a full sit-up. I prefer crunches, so I teach you crunches. <laughs> then we'll go to Russian twisters, and we'll go slow, slow, and then we'll do quick ones. You're following your eyes, follow your hands. Again, anytime you're going back and forth in your body, you're following your hands with your eyes. You're pulling your belly button into your spine, drawing it in to engage your core. All right, ready? We're starting with the V-sit. Got eight total, here we go. Back, back, up, that's one. Back, back, up, two. Back, back, up, three. Back, back, up, four. Back and back, up, that's five. Back, back, up, six. Back, back, up, one more. Back, back, up, bicycle crunches. We're gonna start slow, here we go, one. Two, three, four, four, three, two, pick up the pace now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now crunches. We're going up, slow, down, slow, up. Slow, down, slow, up, slow, down, slow, up, slow. Now we pick up the pace. One, two, three, four, five, six, two more, seven, eight. Come all the way up. Russian twisters. Slow. Slow, 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 slow. Now we pick up the pace. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, we're gonna do all of that again. We're gonna cut it in half. Back to our V-sit. Back, back, up, up, back, back, up. Lean back a little farther this time. You're your last two. Back, up, up, back, back. Into bicycle crunches. Four slow. One, two, three, Four, eight, quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, crunches. Up, slow, down, slow. Up, slow, down, slow. Now quick. One, two, three, four. All the way up. Russian twisters. Slow, slow, slow. Slow, eight quick ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good work. Two sections down. All right. We're going to stay down here on your mat. Hmm, this will be fun. All right, here are different moves. You're laying down, your feet are straight in the air. If it helps you, you can make a triangle with your hands and drop it under your high knee to give your booty some support, or you can drop your hands out to the sides to stabilize yourself. Either one is fine. I think for this one, I prefer my hands under my booty. You're going to drop your legs down. 
drop them down. Everyone has a sticking point and everyone's sticking point is different. When you feel your lower back start to arch up off the floor like this, in this movement, you've gone too far. So you're gonna go down until you feel your lower back arch up and come back up. Okay, just reverse crunches. All right, but we're gonna go down for a four count and up for a four count. So it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Comprende? Excellent. Our next one, our scissor kicks with a crunch. Okay, so you can keep your hands underneath. You're going to scissor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Your head is lifted up. Your shoulder blades are lifted up off the floor. You can keep your hands under your high knee if you want. You can put your hands at your fingertips, at your temples. Please do not put them behind your head. It will hurt your neck. If the crunch is too much, lay your head down. You can do that, but we're kicking. As big as your kicks can get, but again, keep your lower back plastered to the floor. That's the core engagement. All right, next we're gonna do a rope pull. Your feet are still straight up in the air. This time we're gonna use our hands. You're gonna flex your feet and you're gonna pull at an invisible rope that is between your feet. Pull, pull, and I will call out the pulls. Then we will do glute bridges. <laughs> All right, you're gonna lay with your feet pulled into your high knee. Your knees are bent, hands are out to the side. You're going to bridge up, up, down, down. All right, up and down. When you go up, you're squeezing your butt cheeks together to lift yourself higher and to engage your glutes more. We're working more butt. We'll do those slow, then we'll do them quicker. If you're working out with kids, it's more than likely they're going to want to climb underneath and use you as a bridge. If that's the case, just hold your bridge up high. Let them climb. Let them have fun. All right? But let's do this. We're going to start with our legs straight up in the air. And we're going to drop them down slowly. Down, 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 up, up, up. That's one. Down, 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 down. Pull your belly button in and down. You're using control. You're controlling the movement of your legs. Now come on up. We're going to do that one more time. Down, 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 up, up, up. Now scissor kicks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Good. Keep your feet straight up in the air. We're going to rope pull. Flex your feet. Pull, 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 pull. You're alternating arms, lifting your shoulder blades up. Pull, 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 pull. Four, three, two, one. Head goes back. Feet come down. Knees are bent. We're bridging up. One, two, down, two, up, two, down, two, up, two, down, two. Last one at this pace, down, now quicker. Up and down, up and down, up, up and down. Four, three, two, one. Good. Feet go back up in the air. Dropping them down. Down, 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 up, 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 up. Drive your lower back into the floor. Up, 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 up. Two more. Down, 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 up, 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 up. Last one, two, three, four, up, two, three, four. Scissor kicks. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight. Mom. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Just a minute, Bo. Feet go straight up, and we're pulling. Pull, 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 pull. Shoulder blades come off the floor as you pull. Pull, pull, glute bridges. Feet come down, head drops back, and we're pulsing up, two, down, two. Up, two, down, two. Up, up, down, down, up, up. Now we pick up the pace. One, two, three, four, squeeze at the top, two, one, great job. Another section down, you're doing amazing. So proud of you. Okay, we have got some lunges to stand it on up. All right. Oh, we've got some sumos, got some lunges. Okay, these sumos are a little tricky, or they get the hand movement gets a little tricky. So stick with me here. I'm going to pull my chair a little closer just so I can read this to make sure I'm doing it right. <laughs> All right, so you're going to stand in a sumo position, which we did before. And we're going to start with a pulse. Okay, just going to pulse it out. Then we're going to add a side reach. Your lower body stays still. Your upper body is moving. You're reaching and reaching, pulling things. See how my lower body is still? All right, you're gonna work right here. You will, it seems like, oh, easy peasy, you know, I'm just reaching. Tomorrow you will feel that. You wanna add small hand weights in? That's a great movement to add hand weights that you do not have to. If, for whatever reason, a sumo squat hurts your knees, not your butt, not your thighs, that's what we're working. That needs to hurt a little bit, so be uncomfortable. But if it hurts your knees, lessen your range of motion. Just come up a little bit higher. So we'll do those reaches, and then we're going to do bow and arrow pulls. So we're down here, we're reaching, right? Then we're going to cross over, pull up, and extend back. Then we'll come across, reach, down, switch. Up, down. See that motion? Okay. You'll get lost, it's okay, no big deal. Then we'll do three pulses to one to your toes. Pulse, 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 toes. Let me come up. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Toes. Good. Now we're going to lunge back slowly and lunge back. We're going to alternate sides. All right. Then we're going to alternate sides and add a twist. A twist. Give your core some work while we do the lunges. Now we're going to squat walk. So you're going to start at one side, you're going to drop down in a squat. And you're going to take teeny tiny steps to the side, four one way and four the other. Do that. Then we'll do a little stretch. We'll step out wide. And we'll alternate toe touches just to stretch out what we worked. Okay? I know that was a lot. You'll be able to keep up, I promise. We're going to start with a sumo pulse. Feet are out wide. Toes are pointed to the corners of the room. Back is straight. Your tailbone is tucked in when you're dropping down. And we're pulsing. Pulse. We're just going to pulse here for a second. Just so you get the feel. If you start leaning forward, tuck it back in. Bring your shoulders back. All right. Good. All right, hands out. Legs are still. You're not moving your lower body. We're reaching. Reach. 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 Good, just keep reaching. Woo, feel it in your legs now. Stop, we're going to go out to the side, up, 
Draw your bow back, come down and switch sides. Point it up, draw your bow back, back down, switch sides. Point it up, draw back, down, switch sides. Up, draw back, down, back to center. Pulse, two, three, toes. Pulse, two, three, I hear you're swearing right now. Pulse, two, three, toes. One more time, toes. Oh, give those legs just a little shake. We're gonna do reverse lunges. Here we go. Step back, drop down, up, together. Reverse, switch legs, back, down, up, together. Back, down, up, together. Back, down, up. We're gonna twist. You're twisting towards your bent knee, together. Back, twist, up, together. Back, twist, up, together. Back, twist, up. Good work. All right, squat walk, ready? Drop down in your squat, we're doing four steps. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, drop lower. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Sit back in your squat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Last one. One, two, three, four. Good. Stand with your legs out wide. Hands are out. You're going to touch your opposite toe. Come back up. Touch your toe. Come up. Touch your toes. Come up. Touch your toe. And up. Great job. Hey, we're like halfway through this already. You guys are doing amazing. Okay. We've got one more section to do. And this is everyone... <laughs> favorite and I am not there to push you so I need you to stay with me ready you're gonna lay on your side you're going to take your feet and kick them out about 45 degrees to give yourself some balance I'm gonna go tell my kids to stop screaming forward and I am not going to walk you through this I'm just going to tell you what comes next and we're going to do it this is our last section we're going to do it on this side then we'll do the other side and then we will pull down and be done so here's what you're going to do we're going to go pulse two three and down pulse two three I hope you're doing this with me pulse two three one more pulse two Three, now up and down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to kick forward with a pulse. Forward, pulse. Now back, pulse. Forward, pulse. Back, pulse. Keep your upper body still. Back, pulse. That's what your arm here is for. Forward, pulse, back, pulse, forward, pulse, back, one more, forward, pulse, back, pulse. All right, bicycles, you're going to pedal a bicycle, one, two, this is not a little bicycle, this is like one of those old timey 1930s bicycles, four, five, six, 
seven, one more, eight. Now reverse, ride your bike backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Everyone's favorite little circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Big circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Reverse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. We're going to tap, tap in the front and then tap, tap in the back. Tap, tap up, 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 tap, tap up. Front taps, back taps, down together. Good, leg on your back. That leg that was just working, cross that ankle over your knee. You can either push on your knee or you can pull your leg into your chest. I'll be done in just a few minutes. I'm angry for you. She's gonna tell me something. No, I don't understand. I need five more minutes. I, I cannot tell you. Okay, you can tell me in five minutes. All of you who think that Bowen is super sweet and cute, it's reality. All right. Well, that just earned you a few more seconds of a break, but we're going to switch sides. So you're going to roll over. You're going to pop your feet out at about a 45. And we're starting with the three pulses at the top. Pulse, two, three, down. Pulse, two, three, down. Pulse, two, three, down. One more, pulse, two, three, up and down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Kick forward, kick, pulse, back, pulse, forward, 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 pulse, back, pulse, last one. Now ride your bike. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six. A kid's limit is an hour. Small circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Big circles. Oh my gosh. Me. Are you still with me? Still with me? Okay, good. Husband. How's it call? All right. Ah, big circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Reverse. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, two more, seven, eight, front tap, 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 up, back, tap, up, front tap, up, back, tap, up, front tap, back, tap, front tap, back, tap, keep going, front tap, Back tap, one more, front tap, back tap, good. You made it. All right, lay on your back. The leg that was just working crosses over. Pull your leg in. Good, stretch out. Good work. All right, let's cool down, yeah? All right, you're gonna lay down on your stomach. Hands are by your shoulders. You see me? This way. Hands are by your shoulders. We're going to push up in the cobra. Inhale. Exhale it down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Good. Inhale all the way up into push into child's pose. Good, you're gonna be sitting on your knees. Your left leg, my right leg, your left leg, is gonna kick out in front of you. And you're sitting on your heel, your back heel. And you're gonna lean forward. You're gonna hinge at your hips, not pushing forward with your head, pushing forward with your chest towards the floor, towards your thigh, stretching out your hamstring. Good, now you're going to sit. You're just gonna shift your body weight down onto your high knee. Pull that leg out just a little bit. And your leg that is straight out, that arm comes back. And you should feel that stretch here in your quad. You might have to wiggle around a little to feel it. You should feel it right here. Okay, let's switch sides. All right, your right leg is out. Your left leg heel is under your high knee and you're hinging forward over your straight leg. Good, now you're dropping onto your high knee. <clears throat> your right arm is going back and you should feel that in your left quad. All right, we're sitting up, crisscross applesauce. You're gonna inhale up and exhale onto your elbow. Stretch out your core, inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Good, give me one more inhale up. Exhale. Awesome job. Very good. All right, you all. That's your butts and guts workout for today. Let me know if you do it. I would love to hear. Thank you. Also, you all, I just want you to know that this is what working out with kids at home looks like sometimes. Sometimes it is, um, sometimes it's a lot of interruptions. And you know what? That's okay. We are not your movement time does not have to be perfect. It does. It could be interrupted. Your kids could join you. I hopefully will get to do a workout with my kids joining me um, while we're in this quarantine. Um, but for this particular one, I didn't. Life happens. I could go back and edit this so that you could see a perfect workout. But that's not real life here. Real life is toys and beanbag chairs and boxes and me working out in my playroom with my kids interrupting and fighting. Like, this is real life. But it doesn't mean that you stop moving. So, hope you have an awesome day. Let me know uh, what you think of the workout.